Hello everyone. Um, how's it going? Uh, welcome to another video. I'm doing things slightly differently this time. I'm recording using my phone so that I can like gesture and stuff. But uh, what I'd like to talk about today is why I'm leaving Endeavor OS. I've been using it for just like with Gentoo, maybe this time a little bit more than a month, but it's been overall fine, I guess. It's been like arch, but like I didn't have to like do anything to install it, but there have been their own issues. Some of them can be, uh, are admittedly Wayland's fault and some of them are Endeavor OS's fault. Um, you may see one in the background of this video, how audacity while recording this, the UI is just completely fucked. So, uh, I don't know what that is about. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes that thing flashes. I have no clue. I remind you, I'm on NVIDIA with Wayland with the new drivers that did help a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Especially in gaming. Like, playing games, I can play absolutely anything, and it just works on Wayland with NVIDIA. And I've been playing, like, absolutely anything. There hasn't been a single game that I've struggled to run or had any Wayland issues with. But there are still some, not with games, but with some apps, apparently, there are issues. But yeah, um, the main reason I'll be just leaving Endeavor OS, I'll be, is just, I don't, I want more control. I really don't like KDE. I, I, I mean, it comes with KDE, I installed KDE. I, I installed KDE for all the, like, the, the features of the Wayland, as in, like, the HDR stuff, because this monitor does support HDR. But I really, what the fuck, there, this monitor does support HDR, but it really is just not good enough to warrant me using KDE. I really do not like KDE because of how bloated it is. I mean, sure, some people like it, but it's not for me. I just don't like it. it it's too much. It gets in my way too much. And yeah, I'll probably be coming back to some sort of tiling window manager and probably installing my own of everything instead of using like a, a monolithic uh, operating system. But yeah, my biggest gripe for switching is actually KDE after all. Endeavor OS is fine. It's, it's pretty good, especially for how easy it is to install and how everything just works out the box. Um, I mean, if any of you saw my stream that I did like a month ago, it was very nice, very easy. It, everything just works. And what is, um, my biggest gripe with Endeavor OS for me is KDE, but for many people who like KDE, Endeavor OS will be f freaking amazing. It will just like, they'll love it. It's very little effort and everything just works more or less. And, and especially for gaming, everything just runs. Everything just plays well. No, not many stutters. Sometimes there are issues with like full screening versus uh, borderless window and everything, but like switching between the few and just seeing which one works best, it usually just, it just works. It, same issues happen on Windows, to be honest. So yeah, even though I haven't used Windows in four years, I think. that Yeah, four years. So, yeah. So, I'm switching away from Endeavor West. But you might be thinking, what am I switching to then? I will be switching to NixOS. I will be giving NixOS a shot. It sounds really cool. Um, I know it's... I mean, I haven't read too much about it. But I just know how cool it is. I, I think Nix Package Manager is really cool. And I really like the idea of everything being reproducible. In theory, it sounds amazing. The big question is, how is it in practice? And that, that is what I'm going to find out. So, yeah, uh, I'll be switching to NixOS and I'll see how that goes. It, I feel like, hopefully it's not that bad. But, I mean, you never know. I mean, maybe, maybe... Maybe it's like one of those things that are, in theory, super, super cool, sounds amazing, and then in reality, 
it's awful and like it's very hard to use. I don't know. I will find that out. Another thing is that um kind of kind of like uh, kind of like the opposite of arch in my opinion like if you if 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 you ask someone like oh how do you want to make a good operating system you won't say yeah let's just update random packages at random intervals and then mix and match different versions and everything like that yeah just, that that's a good way to make a stable operating system it it it's really not but that's what arch is and it kind of works kind of sometimes maybe eh but it works and a lot of people like it so yeah um we'll see how nixos is like is is it is it really that much worse is it is it good is it bad no clue until i try it and yeah um i'll talk a bit more about why i really don't like kde um yeah it's bloated and in my opinion quite overrated just cuz everything like is meant to like look nice very in quotations marks but as soon as you like like surface level it's fine but then like it's it's it feels very artificial like it doesn't feel like uh it's completely made like not everything is super duper polished i feel like gnome does a better job at that because but at the same time i don't really like gnome that much either but in terms of monolithic uh operating systems or desktop environments gnome does a way better job in my opinion just because everything is much more polished everything supports more things everything just has more overall uh, polish to it while KD is much more cutting edge bleeding edge we got to have that we got to have that and then we'll fix the bugs later and that's kind of the way it is with KD i mean why else would they have HDR and everything but i mean technically it's from Valve but they're the ones who merged it and whatever so yeah I mean, I haven't actually you know, talked about this too much, but this is my my KDE Rice. I have a semi-transparent toolbar. My terminal I made just like I did in my Gen 2 install. I have the wobbly, slightly wobbly windows. I kind of, I kind of hate how if you grab it like, if uh, it doesn't scale with the window size. So if I grab like the corner of a window and it's like a big window, it wobbles a lot more than if it's like a tiny window. So if I have like a tiny window. it wobbles very little like this is how much i'd want uh wait does it, yeah so this wobbles a lot less compared to this window and also like where you grab it also changes how it wobbles like i would have wanted it to scale with size as it, i mean it would make sense smaller window less mass assuming that all windows have an equal density but apparently they do not according to kde So, yeah. Um I have this widget here that I added. Uh it, w- it used to be a circle, very weird circle widget, but I edited it to make it a square. Kind of works fine-ish, I guess. Um not as well as anything you could like actually like customize yourself and like in like Waybar or whatever. Uh then just the regular KDE bar, few apps, few status things. and yeah i mean mostly sitting and working the terminal and like vs code this is fine it works and also games do run fast and they just work but yeah oh another issue is like kde just never wants to auto mount my disks like every single time it asks for my password like n- no matter what every time i've tried like everything it still asks my password for the disk it's not an encrypted disk it's not anything because of that my steam library is always every time i want to play a game i have to go manually mount the disk and then launch the game and it will like show up and sometimes it like doesn't register that there's a, another disk with the steam library cuz it like clears the cache or whatever it's kind of a pain 
I don't know why KD does that. And I have, like, tried everything. But, I mean, I could probably, like, do it through Root and just, like, have a uh, FS tab thingy. But, I mean, it's a, whole, it's a holistic desktop environment. It should be able to mount my own disk that is inside of my computer instead of having to do things manually. But, yeah. Um, it, it, overall though, I can see why people like it once again. It just, I mean, I know a lot of people like it for the themes and everything. I mean, I don't really find any themes that I liked, especially on Plasma 6. There's not that many themes for it, but yeah. Um, actually, I, I don't have it disc mounted. I can demonstrate the whole thing with Steam that it will show me, show up as if I have no games installed because my Steam library is on a separate disc. So it looks empty. I only have Voices of the Void here because I uh, it is installed on my other disc and it's like just a pass through to run the exe with Proton. But if I mount my disc, as soon as I mount my disc, the whole library just fills up. But not always. Sometimes it stays on full and I have to manually go and add the disc in settings because it really likes to forget about my, uh, it really likes to forget about the, the, the disc to go to storage oh it does always unfavorite it though I, I always have to manually select this and i need to favorite it make default and then sometimes it just completely disappears and i have to re-add it so yeah kind of a pain but the games themselves they run great in terms of wayland and uh nvidia everything is perfect like could not be better it's as good as like on windows it's awesome huge thumbs up Strongly recommend to anyone wanting to try Linux and specifically people who like game a lot. Endeavor West, actually fire, really nice. Unless you're like a crazy power user like me, you will absolutely love this. Especially like, or if you're like a Windows user or whatever, this will like, this will work amazing for you. But overall, for me specifically, I want more. I want to try stuff. I want to fuck with my computer do do random bullshit that no one else should be doing like just do whatever the fuck i want and yeah kd's too limiting for me and i want i want like i want a tiling me i want i want my own like i want package management that is good i actually really like arch but endeavor west does bring some things that i do not like to arch um but yeah I'll be trying out NixOS. Hopefully, hopefully I like it. I really hope I like it. My other like alternatives, things that I've been thinking about trying is FreeBSD. Huge, huge issue with that is that <laughs> Steam just doesn't run on that. So probably not, even though I really wanted to try it. I'm probably might not like not be able to. And uh void linux also another one that i'm very interested in so yeah uh leave a comment below what other like distros you want me to try and i'll, I'll look into it maybe something like that or maybe if you like want specifically me to try void linux or nix os or freebsd even if you really hate me don't want me to play games sure suggest freebsd but yeah that's about it for this video um this was slightly a different style in terms of like the whole talking with my hand oops hit the mic again wow sorry um yeah i kind of hope this makes the, the video more lively because i can like properly interact at least in some sense with the camera and yeah uh also don't think too much about this keyboard yeah have a good one bye subscribe